Where can you see both an intellectual debate and a serious brawl at the same time? Where can you come across the most embittered stars or the most unpredictable fails? Of course, on live TV, because there you can't predict anything, which often makes these moments very cool and memorable. For this episode, I've collected the most interesting, unusual, and coolest moments caught on live TV, which are impossible to forget. Let's watch them together. Programs on which experts are invited are interesting to watch, not only because they teach you something new and useful, sometimes there's real action on such programs. This footage shows a fragment of just one of these programs. Experts argue with each other, then they take a tabletop and try to pull it and throw it. One of the experts even tried to kick his opponent. It would have come to a fight if not for the security guards in the studio. This footage was taken during Pope Francis's communion with the faithful on St. Peter's Square in Rome in early 2020. Francis walks past people, shakes hands with them, and high-fives them. Nothing out of the ordinary. But then one woman abruptly grabbed the pontiff's hand from behind a railing. It was so sudden and impolite that even the Pope couldn't stand it, reacting quickly and slapping the woman on the arm several times. Immediately after the incident, Francis's guards intervened in the situation. The moment immediately went viral on the internet. You bet. It's not every day you see the Pope in anger. But to me, his behavior is understandable. Many people would have done the same thing if it were them. The fact that the Pope lost his temper was unexpected news because it happens very rarely. But it's much more common for various stars, such as athletes, to get angry on the air. In 2016, for example, a reporter from the Portuguese TV channel CMTV wanted to ask Cristiano Ronaldo a question. The Portuguese star clearly didn't like the question. Cristiano was not in the mood in general. So he grabbed the microphone and threw it into the pond. The images of angry Cristiano immediately went viral on social networks and became a meme. He had his reasons for his behavior. As it turned out, Cristiano had a personal grudge against the TV channel. The footballer was offended at the journalist for gossiping about his private life. This live broadcast was about a guy who conquered the airspace over a body of water using a water-powered jetpack. The first part of the broadcast was great. The guy hovered and flew over the water in keeping with the best traditions of GTA San Andreas. Remember there was a jetpack too, right? But at the interview, something went wrong. The reporter asked the guy some questions. The guy said a few words and flew on a jetpack straight into the water. It was epic and unforgettable, and funny, of course. The presenters watching the broadcast from the studio couldn't hold back laughter and emotions of surprise. <laughs> Reporters have to not only broadcast something, but to actively participate in the reportage. For example, if you're reporting from a slide, you have to ride down it on a snow saucer, so the viewer can get a better feel for the story. This reporter did just that, jumped on a snow saucer and rushed down a little slide. But the trajectory she chose was the worst of all. There was a big lump of snow, ice, and mud right at the bottom of the slope, and the reporter ah. hit it. Well, at least she wasn't hurt, and that's good. On second thought, it's not clear how it was possible to choose this place for the sliding. Why couldn't she have just moved a little to the side? Did you know that not only people can be guests of the shows, but also cats? If they're famous, of course. On one such show, there was a video conference between the presenter and Tardar Sauce better known as Grumpy Cat. It became a famous meme on the internet for its perpetually sullen and grumpy facial expressions. This face may look creepy to some, but to most people, it brings uncontrollable laughter, like to this presenter. The guy couldn't look seriously at the cat, which with all its looks seems to show how much it didn't like the video interviews. The only thing the viewers got was a laughing presenter who almost choked with laughter. It's really funny when such an unusual creature looks at you. This footage shows some kind of orchestra or ensemble of wind instruments. The musicians are performing a composition while a reporter next to them is telling the story. At some point, he decides that the viewers have to hear the trumpet sound better, so he puts a microphone to the trumpet. Well, that makes sense. But the reporter went even further and almost shoved the microphone inside. Why? So the viewer could feel all the frequencies of the instrument? The result was predictable. The microphone just fell into the trumpet and got stuck in it, which made the musician laugh. But what's much funnier is how the reporter then wriggled around trying to get the microphone out of the trumpet. Eventually, he succeeded. But I think a few seconds more and he would have gotten inside the trumpet himself. You don't have to be a genius to understand that you have to report from a comfortable place where nothing will disturb you. 
even ordinary people know this. But for some reason, some professional journalists seem to ignore this rule on purpose. This girl, for example, reported directly from the side of the road. This idea was not very good because her voice was muffled by the noise of passing cars. Moreover, the road was also covered in puddles from the heavy rain. That day, that girl was properly bathed in the muddy rainwater, which kept splashing out from under the wheels of the passing cars. Sometimes it's the reporters themselves who are to blame for the fails during a live broadcast, either by standing in the wrong place or by blurting something out. But sometimes it's not up to them. Like in this case, for example. A woman is reporting and interviewing a football player. She gives him the ball, he throws it to another guy lurking in the background, and for some reason the dude starts running toward the camera. He's so fast that he knocks the reporter off at full throttle, just like in a real game. It was sudden and very strange. Why had he done that in the first place? Maybe the poor reporter had done something bad to him. I don't think she was hurt too badly, and that guy with his zeal should play in the Super Bowl. I think he's better off not reporting. This is one of the most unpredictable videos in this episode. I'm sure you can't guess what's going to happen if you haven't watched this broadcast before. The girl is reporting from the road. We see that the weather is very bad, it's raining and blowing strong winds. And then the most unusual thing happens. At one point, a stop sign flies into her face, having been ripped off by the wind from the other side of the street. It was very unexpected, don't you agree? Of course, the reporting could not be continued after this kiss with the sign, but I hope the girl wasn't hurt too much. Taking your lover to sporting events is not a good idea. There are a lot of people there, among whom you can meet your acquaintances, who will report everything to your wife or girlfriend. But also at such events, there are a lot of cameras, so the cheater can be in the spotlight at any second, as in this case. The kiss cam was pointed at the couple just as they were kissing. The couple was immediately shown on the stadium's main screen. As soon as the guy saw this, he realized he'd just gotten caught with his lover in front of a huge number of people and immediately pretended not to know this girl moving away from her. That was funny, but not for the guy's wife. She couldn't possibly forgive him for what he'd done. This footage shows ice skaters at the Grand Prix. The ice skater tries to kiss her partner, but he doesn't notice her and shakes hands with the man to the right. The ice skater waits a few extremely awkward seconds as she continues to keep her lips stretched out. She was lucky, her partner finally noticed her and kissed her back, but the situation still came out rather cringeworthy and unforgettable. Curiosities and unusual situations often happen on the tennis court, and they often get caught on live TV and become unforgettable. For example, in 2019, such a situation happened at Wimbledon with Jelena Ostapenko from Latvia and Robert Lindstedt from Sweden. In the game of the second round, Jelena served the ball and sent it exactly to the back of the head of Robert standing at the net. Naturally, it was an accident. Jelena apologized to Robert, who made a joke and didn't take the situation seriously. But the next game, the same thing happened. Ostapenko again hit Lindstedt with a ball, and this time the ball flew much faster. The Swedish sportsman, learned by bitter experience, was standing like a stone, but it didn't help. However, we have to hand it to the unwavering Scandinavian. Not every head can withstand a flying ball at 150 kilometers per hour. Sorry about that, dude. That's all, guys. Which of these moments caught on live TV did you remember the most? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.